January 27, 2001, the day that changed the Oklahoma State basketball program forever. 18 years on, OSU family gathered together on every third Saturday of April to celebrate the lives of people who have lost. The run has been held continuously since 2007. This year, the race attracted more than 1,400 participants who come and show their support to the lost one. The best thing for the family members is that everybody wants to know that their loved ones that have passed will be remembered, and this, this run does establish that. People are remembered. The run has grown throughout the year, and this year, it has become an official race in the competitive calendar. But Alexander says the most important thing is to educate people on the legacy of the 10 victims who died on the plane crash. Students that are 18 right now would have been barely born at the time of this plane crash. We're able to educate them about the men we lost and also educate them about the importance of remembering those who've died. Among 1,400 participants in the race were friends and family members of the person who died in the plane crash. For one of them, this race meant much more than carry on the little one legacy. Will Hancock, a member of the Cowboys media relations staff, was among 10 people who died on the plane crash. His name is now being credited with a scholarship award. Karen, his wife, says she considered the run as a way to celebrate her late husband's life. I always view this run as a celebration of his life, and it's really great to get family members coming in, um, and we all gather and just to really celebrate who Will was, what he was about, and what a great guy he was. Awards are given to the fastest runner of the race, but the run it meant for much more than that. It's the way to remember the 10. For the Puck Report, I am Yan Dorn.